Hello and welcome. My name is Richie and today I've got a bit of a random video for you. Um, in this video I'm going to be crafting 10 ranger weapon blueprints. I'm going to be using some delicate flowers and a pansy. Uh, strange as it sounds. And I will be opening at least four variety costume gift packs. Um, now when I, forge, when I forge the ranger weapon obviously I'm hoping that I get a legendary finally. Um, it's taken quite a bit of uh, time, so I could only hope for the best on it. Um, as today's Sunday, I've been quite busy. As you can see, my activity points are at around 289 at the moment. I think the only thing I haven't done is the uh, is the guild quests, and that's only because I'm actually looking at joining another guild, which I will do uh, at some point, either later tonight or next week. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but everything else has sort of been, well, stuck right into. Um, even the reputation tasks as well, only the Guardian Battlefield because it takes so long to team up, I can't be bothered. Uh, the elimination reputation is out of 21,000. Um, it says I've only done 276, but that's glitched. I have actually capped it today on the Magellana's Shadow. Um, the faction is coming along quite nicely, which obviously is increasing my stats as well. Um, and the other thing I've been doing today, if we go into achievements and go down to growth, then adventure, if it loads, I have actually been killing these dryads. Um, if I go down, you can see I've killed 9,312, only a few more to go for the 10,000 achievement. The purpose of doing this is if we scroll all the way to the bottom, Yada yada yada. Keep going, keep going, keep going. On the Aerial Island Exterminator, this one, the title is what I'm trying to get. So, as you can see, you have to kill 10,000 of each of these um, to get that title. Uh, so, hopefully, we'll have that within a week or so. Um, now, let's get stuck in then. I'll, uh, I'll begin with the Ranger Weapon Blueprints. I need to buy a few more of these Stones of Earth. So I'll just pop in the item all there, I need to buy another 20 of them. So that's going to have a nice little dent on my gold. Okay, click buy on that. Um, other than that, I think, yeah, we're pretty much ready to forge them. So press forge now, get teleported over to Aerial Island, and then let's get stuck right into forging them. I really, really would like to see a legendary. If I see a legendary today, I'm just going to stop, and that's it. I, and then hopefully we can make a nice video on upgrading it and, and getting stuck into that. Okay, so number one, what is it going to be? Oh, very nice. If I sound different as well, it's because I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, if you can't already tell. Okay, anything? No, nope, more epics. To be fair, the more epics I get, it's just adding up to the achievement anyway, so that's fine by me. Um, for forging X amount of epics, whatever that is. God, it's given us lots of rares. I would really prefer a few more epics, just so that I could at least get the rune stones for the upgrade. But no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. You just, uh, you just do you. Okay, so not lucky today. Um, on these, it'll just be a case of dismantling everything um, for that. In the warehouse, I do actually have a lot more of these blueprints. I've got, well, only four weapon ones at the moment, but lots of other random ones which um, I'll have to make. So that brings us on to the next thing. Let's just quickly use these delicate flowers. Um, let's run on over here. Shouldn't take too long to use these. We can just exchange these for a little card pack, which should give us a small amount of silver. So if we just go into that, is it in here? Or have they taken it away now? They, they may have taken it away, to be fair. Um, yeah, it looks like they have. Unless it's unless it's somewhere else. Oh, no, it may, it may be on here. Um, just go in. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, it is. You can still get the cards. I wasn't too sure where they had put it. Okay, so we get another card. Now we can just use this. How much silver is it? So 158,000. That's fine, I'll take that. Um, now let's use this pansy. With that, we can actually get, uh, let's go into it, into the pansy store. 
we can finally get one of these. Well, I could spend it on a Lucky Clover and get something like that, but I don't really want that. Um, the Whisper Garland, or should we get this one? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I really can't see what the difference is. I'm going to get this one just because it's got a bit more blue on it. Um, and that's it. So let's see. What do we have in here? We get an achievement for that. That's fine. Um, and then we click Use. Okay, so yeah, we can just unlock that. That's fine, I'll take that. And should we equip it? Yeah, I've got nothing else on to be fair, so I'm happy to equip that for now. Gives a bit of a bit of an effect anyway. Now let's use these variety costume gift packs. I think these were ah uh, yeah they were changed. So there we go. Look, it's um yeah what was that then? 1.8 million silver on that one. Um, some more delicate masks. Okay, <laughs> starting to gain a, a few more. Oh, don't mean to discard, I mean to do that. There we go, let's use them. And another three. Okay, so this will allow us to go and get a few more. So we'll just quickly do that and see what else we pick up from them. No idea what it's going to be. It's not too far, I think it's just over to this little wind talker camp, which is obviously where you um, do the trial quests every day. Okay, let's pop on over. And if we exchange, I mean, yeah, we could save up and get this screwder, but I don't really see the point. It could just take a long time. Oh, how tempting is that? That I could get at least 15,000 gold by exchanging. But no, where's the fun in that? Let's do the uh, costume gift packs, just because it could contain the legendary. You never know. Um, so, oh, 8.8k gold there. That's all right. Uh, 1.8 million silver and another 8.8k gold. So to be fair, it probably worked out better to do that. The risk was there. Um, and then we've ended up with not far off the same amount of gold that we had before. Um, I will I will make a video soon on gold making. I keep getting asked. Um, there's not really that many tricks to it. It's just a case of, uh, of doing your doing your gathering really, doing whatever skill you've got, so if you've gone to your skills here and your life skills, you can do your plant gathering or, or mining, you should really be doing that every day that you get your stamina up, it's very rare that you'll see me at 200 stamina because I'm always using it, um, and then of course by doing team raids and things like that, you'll often get, it, it works out better when you start getting into the higher team raids, so if you can see like if we go into like Everlush Valley, which I did earlier, you'll get like a a blood of Titanus in that, which gets split amongst the raid group, and normally that goes you, you'll get a good few thousand gold there extra um and then more as you get into it further as well the, the same for the um frost hearts um but that's it. That's it for this video. I'll uh, I'll look to make a few more over this week. I think I want to get out at least four videos this week um, and then get a good bit of content for you. So anyway, that's it. I'll put some suggestions on the bottom as normal. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a slightly odd video, but sometimes it's nice to have something a bit different other than a guide, I think. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you again and goodbye.